think to start with, there needs to be that clear delineation. And I, I think that needs to be between the, let's say that example of the two partner firm, which roles are each of you going to take? Because there's no point in you both doing the same thing. We need to make sure that, that one's responsible for one, one's responsible for another. At that sort of size, I don't think you can go full time managing partner and chief executive or whatever those titles might be. You need to keep all the tools at, at that sort of size in a professional people business. But if you full time are working in the business, you'll never get the opportunity to grow and you will pretty much always stay as a two partner firm. You might employ a couple of assistants that work with you, etc. You need to try and find that discipline to work on the business rather than in the business. And that's the danger, particularly for smaller law firms. It's all about hitting our fee income targets, delivering for our clients, which is great. That's what you need to do. But at some point, we need the discipline to be able to lift our heads up to start to work on the business. Because if we're just drawn into that rat race of always going around on that, that hamster wheel, that's where we will be all of the time. And I have these sort of conversations with law firms all of the time. And it's about setting time aside in your diary. It could be the same point every week where you know, this is when I'm going to work on the business. This is when I'm going to de develop a strategic plan. This is when I'm going to look at recruit. This is when I'm going to look at opening in new areas or different work types, etc. And once you've got that in your diary, you've got to stick to it. So you're setting that time apart. 